Hey Exiles, how are we doing? Welcome to another video of Saga Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. Okay, so um, don't freak out guys. This is not my main account. I've sort of decided to start a new character in game. And the reason why I thought about doing this is for many of reasons actually, but particularly I want to get into raiding and I want to show you guys more importantly the aspects of raiding and um, the fun that it could be um, as well. So what I mean by that is I know a lot of people are a lot more hesitant in playing the raiding game only because so you guys don't want to lose your items and things like that and have your bases destroyed. So allow me to play through it and show you guys as well, but it's obviously going to, get, um, you know, sort of take some time to do and I really want you to, you know, uh, experience um, not only raiding but also playing a new game altogether and me building up a new character and sort of mucking about and you know going through all the struggles and things like that now game will obviously be free to play I will not be um, paying for anything in the secondary uh, account that I have I have you know purchased things on my main account from time to time which is fine and only purely because I want to support the developers because they do a, such a great job making this game what it is so right now I'm at level 9 and I actually realized that I wasn't able to build um, my base just yet because I have to hit level 10 which is a bit of a pain so that is a requirement so it was never like that when I first started playing the game. Actually, quite frankly, a lot of changes have been made into the game ever since I started playing the game initially. So yeah, it is what it is. But um, hopefully you guys will be able to enjoy this. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. All right, so right now I've got a few bits and pieces here um, that we have just sort of you know made up. And I was actually kind of worried about um, building my storage and I wanted storage as well. And I'm thinking, well, how am I going to do that with the um, not able, you know, without the ability to lay down any sort of foundations for a base so I can lay my storage chest. But as you can see, you can drop them right on the ground. So I'm not too sure if that was there and available when I first started. I think that had changed over time. So anyway, we're going to get to it. And... A good way to start building up your inventory and um, getting yourselves a foot in the game will be playing the factions game. So you guys want to, if you guys haven't done this before or if you guys are new, checking out this, um, yeah, playing the factions game earlier on will have better um, rewards for you further down the line. So let's go ahead and claim all those before he leaves. And what I was able to pick up is a one-star fishing spear, which will come in handy when it gets into um, uh, further in-game quest line and things like that. So I'm actually going to run over here. I'm going to grab some of this, some of that, and that. And I'm actually going to use that, use that, and I'll drop some of that over here. And let's just claim for all of this. And let's just drop that and grab that. All right, so what has that done? Basically, I've nearly finished off the first quest line for the faction for the warden. And I'll get a neat little reward at the end of it. So a nice, um, sorry, a nice sword, which will be amazing. And a couple of other assistant hammers and the studded um a uh, chest plate there so so for now let us drop all this back i'm gonna put that in there now like i said granted i haven't got a lot of materials to speak of right now but what i'm going to do is we're going to sort of duck out and i'll quickly show you what i have at the moment in my vault so as you sort of start you do get a lot of starter items as well which is great um early in game and a lot of people would, you know, be more inclined to start using him straight up, which is fine. Um, I don't sort of, you know, suggest not to do that. But if you guys can, or if you guys are, you know, sort of seasoned veterans in playing other survival games in the past, um, you guys might want to hold off and sort of reserve those later on in game. 
because um, you guys might use them, uh, utilize them elsewhere. So if you want to go into, say, any sort of Raiders Hut here, um, where have I got it? I think I've got a dungeon just over there. So little things like that um, that you guys want to sort of, you know, make your way through later on, it'd probably be a really good idea um, that you guys might want to do that later on. So yeah, um, you know, use at your own risk, I guess, at the end of the day would be the heat. Um, the suggestion on my end there and unfortunately I have broken all of my weapons but that's fine I'm sort of in the right zone where I want to be as well so what I probably should have taken is the rope I'm probably kicking myself that I didn't do that in the first place because I just need a couple of animal hide and the rope actually I could have just created that when I was at home let's go do that <laughs> So yeah, so reasons for doing the game again, purely because I want to show you or show off raiding, but also, um, you know, all the trials and tribulations, I guess, to <laughs> leveling up in the game and, you know, sort of giving you my way of doing it, I guess. I've been playing this game for so long. I've been playing it for well over a year now, and I think it's probably a good time to sort of revisit all of this. And at least you guys can get a, you know, a better idea on how one person would do it. Um, I'm sure you guys have got your own methods of doing it as well in the first place. All right, so let's um, craft up that bad boy. There we go. And put that away. Put that. And I'm nearly on level 10 as it is. So, so by then I'll be able to enable myself to create myself a little base. And I want to sort of try and find some certain base designs as well. I'm going to, you know, hunt around the Discord server and see what other people have come up with and I might actually make one myself, you know, very, very similar. We'll see how we go. Um, but yeah, just seeing if there's going to be any sort of interest for that. Why not? And let's just go back to where we were. And okay. So now I've got a little bit of a defense and you can two shot these guys without doing the whole sneak attack thing if you really don't want to be bothered i'm just sort of dragging out the um the cursed frog there but let's just do that twice over and let's just take up all of the necessities over here and there should be there we go oh then we are greeted by another boar and here's our not so friendly spider. Oop. May as well take those as, as you do, as you go through. What you'll probably find guys when you're first starting out, if you guys are new playing the game, is that you're going to take everything. You're going to want to take everything. You want to study everything as well. All these little scrolls that you find, just, just use them. Um, they are important as well. Over time, you'll just start getting duplications of all those items. And yeah, you probably just end up uh, saving them for future things like uh, clan challenges and things like that. And can I just finesse oh, my way away from you? And yeah, let's just grab some of that. All right, guys, sorry about that. I had to take a phone call. Anyway, um, so back to it. I hope you guys actually really enjoy coming back to, to where it all sort of began for, well, where it does begin for all players. Um, if you guys are interested in me continuing on this little series here, let me know in the comments because I'll be really wanting to know what your, um, you know, your feedback is with this one. So yeah, please let me know guys. Cause um, yeah, I want to sort of give you more content on this game. And at the moment um, there hasn't been, you know, much activity with the game. So look, I'm trying to find other ways to sort of, you know, um, uh, fill the void, let's say. And by doing by doing it this way, it might be a, you know, a suitable option for now until something does come through. And it's not to say that I'm going to focus on this, you know, completely, you know, if you know what I mean. So, you know, there might be times that I'll switch back to main account and this account, maybe. I'm not too sure. I don't know how exactly I'm going to play it just yet, but I'm just sort of putting feelers out there for now and seeing where this sort of goes do you know what i mean so i i would hope that you guys would enjoy it 
And if you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know, of course. But, um, or, you know, if you guys want me to do certain things now that I'm sort of going to tackle on a, um, a, a more basic character, you know, do you want me to go raid certain areas um, in, in a lower level or, you know, do you want me to do the, uh, the dungeon at a low level? I can always do that. I've actually done that a couple of times in the past as well. So where, you know, on my main account, I basically restricted myself to uh, low level um you know, items, clothing, weaponry, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, and I took on the dungeon and I was pretty successful uh, successful at it, to be honest with you. So, um, but yeah, if you guys are interested in things like that, yeah, I just want you guys to voice it out. But otherwise, um, we'll sort of, you know, tag along here and grab what we can. So I'm really, at the moment, I'm not really focusing on too much right now. Just sort of getting my level up and just so I can get accessibility to, you know, better equipment, uh, workstations, things like that. And, you know, over time, eventually, you know, I'll start focusing on other sort of aspects in the game. I think that'd be a good way of doing it. But I think for a lot of people, if you guys are, you know, just starting out um, uh, into the game and you sort of want to find a good pathway to sort of, you know, work yourselves to, you know, just grabbing the basics for now and, it, and then obviously building from that is obviously a good way of doing it. What I would highly recommend that you guys do is um, to upgrade your chests so you can fit more in. Especially if you guys are going to be on limited resources, um, you guys definitely want to go ahead and do that. And actually for now, I think that might be a good segue to sort of run back home and, um, and sort of show that and what I mean by that as well. So let's just break that. What do I have left? Um, which is not a great deal, but anyway, just a whole bunch of stuff anyway. So let's uh, let's just jump back in. We'll jump back home real quick, and um, yeah, we'll sort of take it from there. And as you can see, I've got my shields up because I don't have the accessibility yet to do any sort of rating, so which is fine. Um, once I get to, I think it's level twenty. Or 22 uh, where are you it'll be level 20 that I can do uh, PvP and unlock the chest for now I won't have the the luxury of my horse and stable so I'm only gonna have the ability to take one chest with me which is fine you know so I, I think that's gonna make a um, you know uh, uh, good content I guess at the end of the day <laughs> Um, all right, so basically what you guys want to do with this is more or less just grab your basics and um, just upgrade. That's all that you really want to do. So if we get, keep doing that, oops, and upgrading that, I think I've got more stone over here. So let's just go ahead and do that. And that. And as you can see, as you're doing it as well, you're increasing your exp and i think that's really important to sort of note that as well so now that is maxed i can't go any further than that but what that allows me to do is i can stack i think anywhere up to 30 of, of the same item if i'm not mistaken so let's just quickly discover that now and i think that would be the case um, i don't think i actually i don't have anything that's over over 26 so that's a bummer anyway but you guys get the idea so upgrading your your little chests at the at the beginning will be very beneficial for you guys it just saves you on building more chests and burning resources that way whereas if you just get at least a stack of wood and a stack of um uh stone you'll pretty much have your um your chest upgraded to the maximum amount because when you think about it the next chest that will become available, you won't get it until level 24. So it's going to take some time. So you don't want to go nuts and make a whole whole bunch of chests there and later on that you're going to break them down. Make a few and use those as, as little storage guys for now. And if you want to make more, obviously make more. But the other thing I want to focus on for a lot of people as well that sort of struggled at the beginning of make, um, playing the game is that you couldn't sort of leave your... Um, your home zone after level four so the best thing that you guys can do is obviously craft your items all right make your workstations right from the beginning so what i mean is build up your campfires 
build up your tilt field, make a couple of chests and get your leather pouch done. And then from there, at least you get access to the signal file, which gives you access to the world map. And you guys will be able to um, uh, at least start venturing out because a lot of people sort of um, got stuck by, uh, by doing that. So you will find charcoal pretty easily. Um, and if you guys really wanted to, if you start upgrading your, uh, your workstations for the campfire, which I've done already, which I'm already on level three, and then we can go to level four. Um, that allows us to, you know, gain a lot more experience as well. And I did that with the um, uh, with the spring as well, and obviously with the till fields as well at the same time. So, yeah, the more that you sort of upgrade your your workstations, then the the quicker that you're going to advance in your level, so you can actually get to um, build the signal fire here, and then move on basically from that there. But like I said, you'll get everything when you first start. And that that will enable you to um, leave the zone and start venturing out. So yeah, good little thing there. Anyway, anyway, gonna leave it here for today. Just a quick one. Just wanted to sort of go through this and something different. So I want you guys to let me know what you think, where you want me to take this in a directional um, way, and yeah, we'll take it from there. Anyway, take it easy. Catch you next time.